Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen. I want to show you how to make a balsamic glaze or a balsamic reduction, which is a great thing to have around the house. You could use it on caprese salad, sandwiches, you could use it on pizzas, a lot of different uses. It's really, really good. I'll show you how easy it is. Just take some balsamic vinegar, whatever kind you like, and I'm going to pour it right into my saucepan here. And then the amount you use depends on how much you want to end up with. But just keep in mind that we're going to boil this and reduce it down. So however much you add, you're only going to get about one-fourth of that amount. So I don't want a lot. I got probably about half a cup of that balsamic vinegar. And I'm just going to add to it about uh, maybe a teaspoon of sugar. And I'm going to turn on the heat and bring this to a boil. So once this starts to boil, you want to bring it down to about medium heat. You don't want it to overboil. Just a, a nice steady boil. And watch out, don't put your face over this because the, the odor is really, really strong right now. And you're just gonna let that keep cooking. You don't want to walk away. You gotta keep an eye on this because it could spill over. But just let it keep boiling down. We're gonna reduce it by about three quarters until it's nice, thick consistency. So look, just a minute or two, and you can see it's already reduced by about half. And you can see it's starting to get thick. You see how it's coating the bottom of the pan? So you can tell it's starting to reduce and get a nice syrupy consistency. A couple more minutes, it should be good. All right, so we're getting a little bit closer. I still think it needs a little bit more time. But remember, just don't put it on high. You wanna boil this on medium to medium low so that you don't burn it. If your heat is too hot, you can burn this and scorch it, and it won't taste good. All right, so I shut the heat off, and I think this is done. You can see how it coats the bottom of that pan. You can see it's nice and thick and syrupy. And I'm not gonna touch this because the sugar makes this very, very hot, and I don't wanna burn myself. But if I just coat the back of this spoon and then run a paper towel, you can see it makes a clean channel there. So you can see it's nice and thick and it's coating that spoon. All right, so I'm just gonna transfer this into my bowl here. All right, so my balsamic glaze is done and you can see as it cools, it'll continue to thicken and it'll be a nice thick syrup and you can put it on a number of things. Uh, you can put it on grilled chicken. You can make it on a nice caprese salad. You can put it on sandwiches. There's so many things you can do with this. It's really, really great. And the best part of it all is if you went to the store and bought a balsamic glaze, it'd probably cost you about 7 or $8 for a small jar. And for that price, you can get a whole half gallon of balsamic vinegar and you can make your own, you know, 15, 20 times over for the same cost. So you really got to try it out. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel.